Hello, hi, it's Liz here and remember the other day I started my glue book. Um, yep, really pleased with how it turned out. Um, cover was done and the first page was done. So if you fancy seeing how that step by step, there's a video on that. And while I was doing that and afterwards as well, I was talking to Hubby and he, I was trying to explain what a glue book was and he said to me, oh, so it's something like a mood board. And I was like, well, no, it's not really a mood board. Um, you know how like interior designers uh, use these mood boards and they put a little bit of this and a little bit, if they're doing up your living room and then you um, you get like a little swatch of fabric and what the wall's going to be and a paint swatch and it all becomes a mood board. And I thought, oh, there's an idea. So. Uh, I looked up YouTube and yes, it's not a new thing. People have done journal type mood boards. So it's not my idea, although I would have liked to have thought that it was, but it's not. Um, there are other YouTube videos out there that have done mood board journals. And I think the difference being that it's not collage as such. It's not all overlapping and filling the page. It's just little... Um, pictures or anything that's just going to evoke a mood and I thought of using it like um, maybe once I've done a few pages and then in the future looking back and thinking oh I could do a collage or I could do um, a journal page and just take inspiration like as if like people use it as an ideas book and um yeah, so it's a kind of, it's an ideas book without any actual ideas. <laughs> so it just sort of evokes a mood. Anyway, I've littered on. This is the book I'm going to use. It was um, very cheap from Hobbycraft here in the in the UK. Um, I think it was a pound. And it's been lying on the shelf for a long time. And I thought, you know, the very thing. Um, all I've done is I've added this bit of rub on, which I will show you. This is Vintage Artistry Rub-Ons and um, yep, you get a few sheets of rub-ons and I thought that that would just take away from the, the spottiness and the more modern look. So I've rubbed this one on because I wanted to see if rub-ons would take on this um, hardboard so, and they do and I want to show you what my idea was for the cover. Um, I've got this from a magazine and I thought for an ideas book, for a, it's not an ideas, for a mood board book, she does look, <laughs> not moody, <laughs> but she does look like she's thinking and she's got all these ideas and moods in her head. They're all there already and I just cut all that out and I thought that was quite cool for the cover. Um, I also have... Um, a title so I was thinking maybe up there somewhere um, yeah and we can do the cover and then we'll do the first page once the cover's done I've picked out some bits and bobs that all go together and convey a mood and this this was on that page as well from the magazine and I think maybe that just kind of takes away that corner I didn't know whether to put more rub-ons up here on the corner. I think I might actually. I think I might do another. Because this teal is on that magazine clipping. It might just be an idea just to do this little one here. So I think we will. Let's just cut a bit of that off. And we'll just do that in the corner there, I think. Just takes away the, um, the black and white. So a good hard rub. And that gets it done. So yeah, so and Hubby was all chuffed. He's like, Oh, I've given you an idea. Oh, a mood board journal. Oh, oh, all your subbies, all your subscribers. So I hope you're going to tell them it was my idea. And 
No, and I haven't told him yet that it's not really a new idea. Because when I looked up YouTube this morning, I was like, oh, there's already quite a lot of mood board journals out there. Anyway, and then, so he doesn't know. He thinks, he thinks it's his eye. You can just, when you lift the thing, just lift it gentle. And then you can see that it's all come off. So, yeah. There we are. I'm not sure about this. I might change the black. But I think it might be okay. Right, now let's see. How are we going to do this? We'll just put that there. And this under a little bit it's going to be a tight fit but I think it'll be fine I think we might need to just chop a little bit of her her blouse off right so let's get sticking I have um, my old magazine here and my just move that out of the way what have we got this this is um, stamped on that um, caddy paper. I thought that was quite a nice texture. It's um, nice. It's paper. It's kind of like materially paper. If such a thing exists. <laughs> so my first page is going to be based in a kind of autumn feel. Let's make sure we'll get this in the right spot. I don't want to cover up that too much. Yep. But I don't want that to be straight because we'll maybe put something in there at some point. But I think, oh no, we don't need to chop anything down. She's fitting quite nicely. Sticky, sticky fingers already. Right, let's get some glue. So I was through a magazine to try and find something for the cover. So I was really pleased when I found this. I thought, well, that's the very thing. A nice big image of kind of what I wanted to convey. About there, I think. Yep. Let's just use this. Whoops. There we are. Just try and be a wee bit more gentle and not so heavy handed until it's all stuck down quite like the way that just overlaps there, brings that in. And then we've got this little bit here, which I think we'll just put right at the edge there, because it was on the straight bit of the magazine, so that's why it's got a straight edge. <laughs> with that cover and it's sort of then um, let me get the glue book yeah pretty cool okay so the inside cover I want to quickly do because I have something here that I want to include this is from a magazine as well you can see that I was busy this morning with my magazine clippings <laughs> and then this is from a magazine I thought was good the most important thing is to enjoy your life to be happy it's all that matters and that was Audrey Hepburn and I thought 
that might be a nice opening to the book. A nice, bright, colourful, just puts you in a nice mood. And I'm thinking I was going to maybe use this piece, but I don't know that I do. I want to have a border. I think we'll just go with that and not bother with the border. And that was from a magazine as well. Right, let's just turn the page. So yes, I'm hoping that if I look at this book when I'm stuck, thinking, oh, what will I do for a journal page? Or what kind of colours go well together? What kind of textures go well? I'll, I'll be able to get my mood board out and maybe it'll help me be inspired. Just move these scissors out the way. Do you think? I think it might. That's good there. And then I'll just get this nice little quote on. Good. Right, so for my first page, I'm not going to use this page because it's a single page and what I've got really um, needs a double page. So I'm going to leave that just now and I might just put another quote or something or some words there or, um, or just write what the book's about and the date and whatnot. Um, so I'm going to leave that just now and I'm just going to do these two pages. So I have gathered, I have been on a treasure hunt through my stash and I have all these little things that I think will go. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little um, piece of pom-pom, a little piece of sari silk, some buttons, of course, some little wooden buttons little plastic buttons and a couple of pieces of fabric so can you see what colours for autumn I'm going with the oranges and the yellows because that's the colour of the trees here at the moment there was a, a leaf snowstorm this morning <laughs> when we went out we went out into Glasgow for brunch and then um, we drove down one of the streets that was tree lined and oh my goodness there must have been a gust of wind and then just whoosh, all the trees. So I've got a stamp, I think that's a moth rather than a butterfly. I've got three little paper flowers. I'm not sure of my layout yet so we'll see how of course, I've got a mushroom, I've got a leaf, I've got this piece of patterned paper, um, although it's got a little bit of blue on it, I think we'll maybe, although this isn't collage because I do think that maybe putting a couple of things just on the top might work because it's about placement of things. There's some nice candles. That was from a magazine. This is from, I think, a kiddie's book. And it's just got like the brown leaves and some more mushrooms. I've got 
a little pair of boots. <laughs> they were from a magazine. I don't know where I'm going to put them, somewhere up there. This is a piece of napkin, which sort of conveys a, a, maybe a knitted brown woolly. Maybe that bit's too big, we'll cut that down if it's too big. We'll leave that, I think, to the end and see, see what's what. Here's someone walking in a, a tree. Here's a jumper, that's from a magazine, that's why it's got a straight edge. We'll put that to the edge there. And I've got a squirrel. Now, I think we'll start on the other side. So I've got my squirrel, I'll leave that just now. There's a piece of something. I've got two little stickers. Let's just put them there. I've got a little girl, autumn girl sticker. I've got a handbag. I've got, this is from the um, paint sample um, card. So maybe put that someplace. This is a from a atlas but it's got the browns and greens which I thought were quite cool and this flower and then there's just this from last year's um, calendar or a diary do you know I've just put that down that right, kind of randomly like that and it actually I think all works. I've got a space up here, but I don't know if I want that because it's not really, it's not really in keeping, and I want to have room for a piece of fabric, maybe there. Let's see if this will. Oh, yeah. uh, the scissors. Let me use the fabric scissors. Don't let it's not be lazy. And use the other ones. Wonder if a bit will tear off. Yep. It's a bit too big. Maybe put that there and maybe that there. Oh, well, my squeaky chair. And I've also got this piece of. Sari silk. Couldn't remember the name there. Wonder if it should go in this side. I don't want to overlap anything and I'm quite liking that side. Maybe should just keep it with the material, with the fabric. Somewhere up there, maybe. It keeps curling. Once it's stuck down, it'll be fine. So, what do you think? What else have we got? A button. We'll put the button over here. That's better. 
Oh, oh gee, it's like a jigsaw puzzle, isn't it? It's like a jigsaw puzzle. Now, I'm wondering if we could put this down. Down the edge of the paper. Down the edge of the page. I think we will. We'll do that at the end. Now I've got my bit of napkin. But I'm thinking that's actually a different, it's a different thing. Yeah, that's different. I've also got some washi, which I think we will keep till the end. And I also have some gold, um, waxy stuff that I might do round the edges just to make it fancy to make it a little bit crafty so yeah now what else have I got over here I've got two flowers nope and I've got this piece of scrapbook paper mm. nope and this. No, I think I'm quite happy the way things are. Yes, I think I'm happy with that. So I will go and I will glue all this down and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, we're all stuck down. I've put the light on because it's gotten really dark. Uh, so that was a lovely 20 minutes I spent there gluing and sticking and um, and yes, so here are the first pages. So it's not collage um, because it doesn't overlap. So it's a collage with everything kept separate. Um, a little bit stuck down. And, um, and I'm really pleased with how that turns out. And I'm hoping that this book, as it goes along, I'll be able to look at it and I'll think, oh, that's right, I can use fabric in my journal. I've added a little bit of crocheted trim on top of that there in that corner. I could use magazine clippings, a button, stickers, flowers, stamps, butterflies, a little bit of paint swatch, some wooden buttons, some um, clippings from a a book, some stickers, an atlas and I've added this gold trim here and I put a little bit of the gold wax around that corner. I don't know if you can see that very well because it wasn't about doing, it's about a touch of each thing so that it's just a reminder of what you've got and what you can use. So I can look at this and think that's right I've got those magazines, I'll have a look through see what I've got. That's right, I could add fabric to something. I've put my pom-pom down the side there. Um, I could do, do that in a journal page. So it's just a nice reminder. And plus it's fun to do. It can gather all your bits. And, um, and it doesn't even need to be like a colour mood board. It could be like um, a certain type of thing, like all your flowers, like, dip, you, like one of each flower that you've got. And you could, um, just to remind you of all the different, or all your stickers, or, or you could do washi swatches, like my bowl of washi here. I could do the next page and just do a little strip of each washi that you've got. And, and paint swatches, you could do all your paint colours, or ink colours, or... So it's really about a reminder of what you might have at the back of the cupboard that you think oh I'm going to get that out again and and, and have and I've managed to get gold on this page but it doesn't matter <laughs> it doesn't matter I'm not going to be precious over it so yeah so that's my version of my mood board um, I'm really pleased with how it's turned out it sits nicely with the glue book um, which is going to be covered pages that are covered in collage um, and this is going to be just each thing separate so you can sort of see the difference and see how each one is fun to do but in a different way so yeah so there we are
that's my two new books and I'm going to have fun with them and um, every wee while I'll pop on and show you what I've done or we'll do one together. So yeah, thanks for joining me today and um, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.